What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are back with a brand new WWE action figure ranking video. And today, we are discussing a legend among many legends, man. We have the ultimate. We have Macho Man Randy Savage coming in. Rest in peace to the legend there, man. He has a ton of great action figures from Mattel. And we're going to, of course, dive into those today. He actually has a lot of figures, man. There's, there's a ton of Macho Man figures, as you guys will see in this video. And today, the whole entire premise of this is to kind of give you guys the idea behind all of the figures of a certain super superstar rank them in my own personal opinion from worst to best or give you my thoughts on which ones you should get which ones you shouldn't get and all those different things man if that sounds like a good thing to you well you're in the right place Bradley but a huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel because they are the people that actually get to vote on these videos I did not expect Macho Man to win the vote but our patron members do vote on these videos and a huge shout out to Gavin White for joining the Patreon the other day huge appreciation for you brother thank you so much for joining on should be a fun adventure here man but today we are diving into our Macho Man figures. Again, I put up a poll every single time we're going to do a ranking video. I put up a poll of a bunch of superstars and Macho Man won the vote, man, so I'm excited for it. Of course, it is kind of bittersweet because we do know that he had a Ultimate Edition that was coming out with Randy Orton in the Ultimate Edition Randy wave because it was Randy Orton and Randy Savage. We thought we were going to get a redo of the Defining Moments Macho Man Randy Savage and we did not end up getting that figure. He ended up, his deal I guess fell out or maybe he didn't re-sign with WWE or the Legends deal and it obviously fell through, which was very devastating, man. I really wanted that figure, the white jacket, the purple, the glitter. I got to actually see a prototype of it in person at WrestleMania, and it was so beautiful. It was a great looking figure. I was super looking forward to it. Unfortunately, did not come to pass, but hopefully he will join on soon and we'll get plenty more Macho Man, but he has a ton of WWE action figures, and today we're going to be discussing the Elite figures and the Ultimate Editions. We don't do basics because we'd be here all day, and most of them would go in the garbage probably. Nonetheless, let's go over our criteria we got, man. Starting out at the top, we do have the Go Buy It section. Of course, if it goes in the Go Buy It section, that means that I'm telling you, you should go add it to your collection. Like, you need to have it in your collection. If you are a collector of this line and you collect WWE action figures, you need to go purchase it. That's what the Go Buy It section means. If I put a figure in the Good Figure scenario, which is just under Go Buy It, go buy it that means that I don't think that you must have it. It's not a must buy, but I think that it's good enough to have in your collection. I think that it would be, if you were to like, I do have that. That figure is isn't in the go buy it, but I have it in my collection. I could be like, I understand it. So that's where I stand on good figure. The next one under that is meh. And meh pretty much just means it's kind of just, I, I don't have really any emotional connection to it, man. It's, it's not that good. It's not that bad. It's just very mid, very meh just right in the middle of the road. Under that, we have Barely Acceptable, which obviously Barely Acceptable means you pretty much have one redeeming quality about you that's keeping you from the bottom. So that could be a head sculpt. Maybe you feel good in the hand. Maybe you feel, you know, you have good accessories, something like that. You would go in Barely Acceptable. The one underneath that is going to be garbage, man. If I put your figure in the garbage, if I put a figure in garbage, don't even look at it, don't even consider it, it has a reason to be there. It's not good. Skip over it. Don't even look at it. You don't avoid the figure. No, don't waste your time or money on this. You don't need it. So those things being said, man, let's dive into our ranking of every single Macho Man Randy Savage Elite and Ultimate Action figure from Mattel. So I guess our first figure here is going to be the All-Stars 2-Pack Elite Macho Man Randy Savage. And I like this figure. I'm going to put it in good figure. Now, this did come in an All-Stars 2-pack with John Morrison, of all people, which is absolutely crazy. I think it was John Morrison. And it's a cool attire. You know, we've gotten very, like, very many. You're going to see throughout this video, there's a lot of Macho Man figures that look identical to this, and it's just repainted. And I like this figure, especially for the time, man. I want to say this came out in, like, 2010 or something like that. Really good Macho Man for the time, and I think it captures him perfectly. It's also a classic gear, which is very beautiful. I like that Macho Macho Man. That's good stuff right there. Next up is a figure that I was just talking about. It's pretty much just a repaint of that Macho Man. It is going to be the Legends Macho Man Chase figure. I want to say it was Series 11 or something like that. It may have been a different one, but I am also going to be putting this in good figure. You have the update. I mean, it's the classic Macho Man shirt that fits the figure really well. I like the all yellow. It's pretty much like an all yellow gear, which is really unique. I like that Macho Man figure a lot, so I'm going to be putting him in good figure. I don't know... 
it's it's difficult because he has interchangeable hands and he came with the little uh the little creamer coffee with that specific monster i'm gonna put this one above this one simply for the interchangeable hands i think i think i like it slightly more even though i feel like i might like the green gear better kind of a difficult one right there that may be a coin flip for you but i'm gonna put that in good figure i don't think it's just absolute must have but if you had these figures i would be like hell yeah that's good stuff next up is personally i think my favorite version of Macho Man, not my favorite version necessarily, but my favorite figure version of Macho Man is going to be the crowdfunder Mattel Creations Ultimate Edition Macho Man in the black and white checkerboard. This is go buy it. I don't even know what the figure goes for, but it's worth every penny. I like the clothes for the figure. I like the attire. I love like black and white. Like I always talk about white attires that I love. Black and white together on a figure or on an attire is just so clean to me. I love the contrast between it. I've even made like custom shit like like Jordan 11s and stuff like that. It's like when you get that big contrast between black and white, super clean to me. So I I like that Ultimate Edition Macho Man and. Of of course, all the bells and whistles you get with it, even if you don't buy the full new gen arena and all that stuff, you still need the Macho Man. That Macho Man is so damn good. So, you know, I know it's like a commentator version, but it's still money. I love that figure. Next up, we have the Defining Moments Macho Man Randy Savage. This is go buy it as well. Love this figure. I love it. And again, look at the figure. It's pretty much a repaint of existing figures, but I think you throw in... I'm Did he come with the Intercontinental Championship? Maybe he didn't come with the Intercontinental Championship, but he does come with his entrance robe, which is awesome. And I like that like slight violet pink trunks, I think is money. And the, I don't think the color of the trunks is super accurate. I want to say the, the color of the trunks might be a little bit off. But it's a beautiful piece, and I like the entrance coat a lot. It's a very beautiful figure, and it's only one that I have been on card thanks to my man Giovanni. Huge shout out to Giovanni. I haven't brought myself to open the figure just yet, but I do love it. I do love the figure, and so I, I'm putting that figure right there. Next up, we have the Defining Moments, the first version. So the one we just took a look at was the second Defining Moments. This is the first defining moments here. This is a go buy it, I would say. I think the jacket is just so damn good, man. It's such a good macho man, man. I, I love the white and purple, and I it makes me... I would say that this would be a good figure if we got the Ultimate Edition. I'd tell you to go buy the damn Ultimate Edition that we were supposed to get. Didn't get the Ultimate Edition, Brad, so now we can't get this figure, and that makes me sick to my stomach. I'm gonna put it in go buy it, even though, I mean, I guess you could say you could play the waiting game. You could put that in good figure and then wait on the Ultimate Ultimate Edition to eventually release, but who the hell knows when that's coming, Brad? I mean, you just buckle the hell up, Bradley. Next up, we have the Elite 23 Macho, and of course, this also includes Macho King, right? This includes Macho King and Macho Man, not just the one gimmick, so this does include Macho King figures, and this one's damn good. I really do love this figure. I'm going to put it in good figure. I really do love that figure, though. Damn. I like the gold gear and everything like that. It does come with the WWF Championship. Ah, oh, man. And that one's gonna that one's gonna bother me at night possibly, but I don't know, man. I'm gonna put it right there. I'm gonna leave it right there. I'm not gonna get too crazy. Let's move on to the next one before I vomit. Next up, we have the Elite 38. Now this one's very bland to me. Never really been a big fan of this one. I'm gonna put this one in meh. It lacks a lot of the stuff that you like from Macho Man. It does have the glasses. It does have the hat. It doesn't have an entrance shirt or anything like that. And I don't know. It's not a bad figure. It's just very bland, Jane. I don't I don't necessarily care for this. I never really care for this attire. I don't really care for this figure in general. It's shelf worn pretty badly and not that that really matters that doesn't determine if a figure is good or not who's flash if a figure just because a figure is on the shelves like hardcore like it's a shelf warmer doesn't mean it's a bad figure, so I don't want you to get that in your brain. And just because a figure has a big name, like John Cena and whatnot, doesn't mean it's a good figure either. Name value and shelf form ability, or their ability to shelf form, doesn't have any instance on how good a figure is. A figure can still be a damn knockout. Next up, Elite 44 Ultimate Maniacs, Macho Man Randy Savage. For me, oh, this could go in good figure, but for me personally, I, I just, I don't really care for this. Not a big fan of it. Not a big fan of the, I've just never been a big fan of this gear. Um, I guess it just really depends on your level of fandom, I guess, if you're a Macho Man figure. I mean, it's a solid figure, but I think in terms of, like, comparisons to all of these, I would put it in meh. It's not a bad figure, though. And I, I don't know, I like a lot of the stuff going on with it. I mean, it does have the entrance shirt and stuff like that. Oh, man, this is tough. I'm gonna put it in... I'm gonna leave it in meh. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna leave it in meh. I'm gonna plant my flag right there. 
There's a lot of great Macho Man Elite figures. I don't know. This just one. This isn't one that connects with me personally. So maybe you you may align differently. Ultimate Maniacs Macho Man, but I personally I was never a big fan of the figure personally. Next up we have the Hall of Fame Elite Macho King, and I like this figure a lot. I like the gear. I like the lime green stuff going on with it. This one's tough for me. Damn, they're putting me in a tussie already. This one's difficult. Oh man, this one's very very difficult. Very difficult indeed. I'm getting to I'm getting to a point where I feel like Macho Man's a really hard guy to grade because he's so toyetic that he's got so much shish going on that it's kind of like difficult to do. By the way, a lot of these figures have terrible head sculpts. Macho Man has never really had like the best head sculpts of all time. I'm going to put this one at the top of... No, I can't do it. I like the gear too much. I'm going to be putting this one here. Yep, putting it there, Brad. I like the gear. I like it better than the gold gear and whatnot. I like, I like this edition of Macho King right here. Comes with the scepter, comes with the crown. Very, I like the men on car version of this figure as well. So I'm going to put Macho King right there. I like that. I, you know what? We're living with it. Next up, we have the Target Exclusive Legends NWO Macho Man figure. And this one's difficult because dead gum. Is it better than the Elite version? There is an Elite version. And the gears are significantly different. This is very, very difficult. I'm going to put it and go buy it. I'm going to put it and go buy it. I think that I, I I like it enough. I like it enough and I like Macho Man enough to put him in the go buy it. You get two interchangeable shirts. It will stain though, so I do recommend like doing some stuff to try to prevent the staining if you possibly can. But that Ultimate Edition, I like that Ultimate Edition Macho Man. I like that figure. I'm going to put that and go buy it. Damn, this is difficult. So many damn Macho Man figures, man. Next up, we have the Legends Regular Edition Macho Man Randy Savage. And this one's very difficult uh, again. Oh, man, I feel feel like it's a go buy it, man. It's such an iconic version of Macho Man. You get the shirt, you get the pink gear with the yellow, great headband, you get the freaking coffee. I get the coffee hands. Oh man, that one's difficult, but it's not necessarily difficult. It's difficult because I'm trying to compare and contrast every single one of these figures, and by the end of it, it looks like you're going to be buying 20 different damn Macho Man figures, man. Oh. Next up, we have the Then Now Forever 3-pack which is an iconic three-pack, but to be honest with you, this set's probably pretty hard to come by, and I don't like the execution of some of the figures in this set. Oh, dude. And I don't even know what this goes for. I want to say this goes for astronomical prices nowadays. Oh, is it go buy it? <laughs> this is so damn hard. Uh, do I put it in good figure, or do I... I like it, man. I like that uh, three-pack. I feel like you have to have it. People are going to be like, Jesus Christ, man. Just buy every Macho Man, why don't you? I don't know. But I think it's an iconic set. I love the Luger in that pack. I don't... The only thing that bothers me about that pack is the Sting. I feel like the Sting execution was terrible. The Luger's solid, and the Macho Man is good. I really enjoy that. And I'd say, like, I feel like you need the three-pack, man. And again, it's just going to depend on your fandom and whatnot and how much you connect with the character. But for me... I think it is go buy it. I think it is go buy it. Next up, we have the original Legends Macho Man Randy Savage. And I'm going to put this one at the top of good figure. Of course, it, again, this is pretty much, you guys can see the trend. It's a repaint of a other Macho Man. And some people may have this one in there, go buy it in the pink lower and whatnot. And you know, you can compare and contrast, you know, different things like that. But essentially, I don't think, you, do you need the same figure over and over again repainted? I mean, if, I mean, look at my collection, right? But I'm trying to give like a sensible look at these rankings, right? Because if it were me, they'd all be in go buy it because I'm trying to buy up all these figures. But, you know, I think I think it's good figure. I think it's good figure. I'm going to go with that. Next up, we do have the Retro Fest Macho Man Randy Savage in the USA style gear. I believe this is his Monday Night Raw debut, possibly. Oh, this one's really solid. This one is really solid. I guess I'm going to put this one in good figure. I like it enough, you know. I don't think it's shattering the earth, but I do like it. I like the USA theme it's got going. The, the different entrance shirts and the accessories are really what make Macho Man toyetic and stuff like that, and he's got a lot of different unique gears and whatnot, so I'm going to put the Retro Fest right there. Next up is the Royal Rumble Elite, and I don't like the torso on this one. I feel like it looks really, really small, and it's very weird. I like the gear. Head sculpt wasn't my favorite. I like the gear, like I said, but I feel like the body mold, they use like the Jeff Hardy shield-style torso, or the Dean Ambrose shield-style torso, you know what I'm talking about and I, I don't know, that that didn't look right to me. It doesn't have the build that I would like it to have. So I'm going to put that one in May. I just, I don't know. I like the gear, like I said, but I'm not putting him in the top right there. Next up is the Ringside Exclusive Macho King. And I love this figure. I really do. I'm going to be putting this one up here, man. Really, really good. If you had this one and go buy it, wouldn't doubt you for a second. Honestly, probably would put it up here. Should probably be go buy it. Should probably switch the TNF 3-pack and the Macho King Ringside Exclusive. You know what? We're changing it. We're changing it. I'm going to 
to put this here and this here. Yeah, we're doing that. The Macho, dude, that Macho King figure is excellent, and I like that gear, I think, the most, possibly. I like the entrance garb and everything. The purple with the white crown, it's just so clean to me with the boots. It's just like chef's kiss. So I feel like that's my Macho Man right there at the top for yeah, above this uh, this TNF3 pack. Next up is the ringside exclusive Macho Man NWO. And this one is difficult as hell, but I'm going to put it at the top of good figure. I don't know what this figure goes for anymore. I know it used to be super sought after. It used to be one of the top figures to go for. It used to be so sought after. And you may, maybe you relate more or you think this is a better representation of Macho Man from this era and whatnot. And you would rather have this over the Ultimate Edition. But for me, I like the Ultimate Edition, I think, slightly more. Even though it does have that black and white contrast and whatnot. Or maybe you like a combination of the two figures. But I'm just saying, I would. I don't know what this figure goes for at current market. But I don't know if I would pay an astronomical price. If you can get that figure for a good price, yeah, go ahead and add it to the collection. But for me, I'm, I'm going to leave him in good figure for now. But at least we do have some representation of MWO Macho Man. Next up is the Wolfpack version of MWO Macho Man. And it is ringside exclusive. Use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. I'm going to put this and go buy it. Another really expensive figure, man. A really expensive figure. And I remember buying it for the sole purpose. This is before I was buying every single figure. But when I got that figure originally, I'm pretty sure I turned it into like a Kenny Omega custom or something like that. So you should you should beat me up. Beat me up. But yeah, I'm going to put it and go buy it. I really think it's toyetic. It stands out. And it's one of a kind. You're not going to find anything much like it. So Wolfpack Macho Man right there. Easy money. We're going to be putting him in the go buy it section next up is the mega powers ringside exclusive two pack right here and this is another very difficult one because it is like that iconic version of macho man you get the hogan and you get the macho man and it is a macho man that has like a very unique tan to it as well I'm going to be putting it in Go Buy It. Oh, dude. Heaven above Betsy. The updated tan, you can, I guess it's just up to personal preference, but it is a Mega Powers Elite version of Macho Man Randy Savage. And I like either one. I like the OG tan that they give him, but I do like the new updated tan. I think that it, it you know, it, it gives you a different look for whatnot, but you get a lot of stuff in that Mega Powers 2 pack. I don't know what it goes for again, but I think you should have it in your collection. I like that Macho Man. Even though the headpiece doesn't stay on the damn head, that pisses me off. So Next up, we have the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Macho Man Randy Savage. Slim Jim version, man. This is absolutely go buy it. Probably one of my favorite Macho Men of all time. And I know we have a lot of stuff in the go buy it section, man, but that Slim Jim version is so damn money. And you look at all these different looks you get. He's just such a toy at a character. All of these figures have their own unique looks to them. And that is why you're filling up our go buy it section. I don't even know. The go buy it section is quickly filling up, man. I don't even know if it's going to fit all these in the damn picture. I don't even know. But the Slim Jim one is easy. San Diego Comic Con exclusive. It comes with the two Slim Jim box sets where you can hold the Slim Jims. A fantastic jacket, a much better ver like a much better gear option than the Elite 38. Really unique piece. I love that Macho Man. That's easy. Go buy it for me. Next up, we have the Then Now Forever version of Macho Man. I'm gonna put this one in good figure. I actually like this figure. Not my favorite attire choice, but the era of Macho Man that it is. I really like, so I'm going to be putting it in good figure. You know, not that all the bells and whistles. I would have liked to seen like a mesh shirt. I think that would have really done it over the top, but I like it. I like the head sculpt specifically as well for some reason. I know it's not everybody's favorite, but I, I don't know why I look upon it fondly for something like that. I don't know why, but I don't know. It's just me. Maybe I'm just an idiot. Next up, we do have the Ultimate Edition Macho Man in the white jacket. And I <laughs> hate to see it, Brad, but this is go buy it. This figure really blew me away. I didn't expect to enjoy this figure as much as I did when I first personally got it. But the white jacket's clean. He actually is very, very poseable. And I like the way they did the entrance shirt and the way that it is. that it is. I like the coloration on the figure. Poses around really, really nicely as well. So for me personally, I'm going to put that in go buy it for the Ultimate Edition. But we are down to our last figure, ladies and gentlemen. And it's going to be the Macho King in the yellow and for me, I'm putting this in the top of meh. I don't know. I like it. I like that it's double jointed arms, though. I really do like that it's double jointed arms. Not my favorite gear, personally. Ooh, but it does have some iconic things going on with it, too, right? Interesting. It is double jointed arms, man. It's one of the few double jointed arms 
Macho Man on this figure list. You know what I'm doing? I'm putting it in go. I'm putting it in good figure. I'm putting it in good figure right there. Got it. Yep. I think. I, yeah. After further consideration, I think I'd put it in good figure. But Macho Man, man, he's a really unique individual because there's so many damn good figures here. Look at all these figures. Look at all these figures I put in go by. Look at all these figures I put in good figure. They're all good in their own way, and it's very hard to narrow down because again, he is so toyetic, and he has so many different things going on with this figure. He gets entrance jackets and hats and glasses, and he has such unique. Like when you look at all these different figures. I mean, I guess if you looked at other people's different figures too, you would notice coloration changes and different things like this, but mm, this is insane how many, I didn't, ex coming into this video, I did not expect to put this many figures and go buy it, this many figures in good figure, but I guess that's just the way the cookie crumbles, but I would like to know, if there's anybody down in the comment section below that's just, like, I'm a, I'm a big fan of Macho Man Randy Savage, I love Macho Man, but if there's somebody down there that's like a connoisseur of the collectible, in the sense of, you know, you can detail these to a point where you can nail the exact attire and the exact date. Kind of similar to how I can do with certain superstars. Are you that level of a fan where you can let me know what you think of my list and what your list personally would be? I would greatly appreciate that. So that is something that I would also consider. But I'm trying to give you the, the facts on what I know and what figures I think are really good. So I think I'm pretty satisfied with this. Again, I did not expect to have all these go by or all these good figures. I expected more. I expected the mess section to be a little bit more filled out. But when I think about how good some of these figures are, kind of unbelievable. It's kind of unbelievable. And we didn't have any barely acceptable or any garbage. I mean, honestly, the Elite 38 is probably my least favorite Macho Man they've ever done. Ultimate Maniacs is definitely the second to last, I think, considering all these figures. I just never was a personal fan of that one. But the, the Royal Rumble one is a solid figure. I just, I don't like that torso choice even though I like the gear and headband. But nonetheless, man, that is going to wrap up our ranking of Macho Man Randy Savage. Hope you guys did have a, a good time watching the video and whatnot. I'd love to know all of your thoughts down in the comment section. Again, if you would like to vote on these figure videos, you can join the Patreon and become a guy that gets to vote on these specific videos. And you can join on there and vote and uh, see who is going to be next, man. But somebody had a really good point on there. They said, wait on Hulk Hogan until the end of the year because we're going to get more Hulk Hogans this year and you might as well just wait until the end of the year to do a collective Hulk Hogan. Hogan video, so I guess we'll we'll wait on that and we'll see where you know it stands. But I could always rank the Hulk Hogan's up to this point, and then rank the 2024 Hulk Hogan's or 2023 or whatever modern day Hulk Hogan's later on. But nonetheless, man, I'm shutting the hell up. We've been here a minute. I'm getting out of here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later. <laughs>